So we've got a corn plant here. When we sow the corn, little tiny little corn seed, this is what it can grow into. When we've got it in the ground, when we've got our first leaf coming out of the ground, our first true leaf, we've got, um, we call that V1. So vegetative one, that's what the V stands for. And as we go up to about eight or nine, V9, so V1 is one leaf, V2 is two leaves, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's when it changes over to an R. So what we call in the, in the growth stages. So up to about V8, V9, we'll start to get a tassel occur at the top. Now the tassel is, is this part up here. That's, that's where the pollen is. That's critical to have the tassel come out at the same time as the silks. These are the silks coming out the, the end of the uh, end of the cob. These silks are related to the grains inside the uh, inside the, the cob. What happens is the pollen falls from the tassel and lands on the silk. That fertilizes that embryo and, and becomes a grain. It's critical for us to get a good hybrid to drop its pollen at the same time that these silks are viable. Now the other part of the management cycle of, of growing corn is we need to keep the life of these silks as long as we can so as we get as much pollen as we can from the top of the of the plant. To do that we need humidity. Big crop like this inside that crop it's going to have fairly good humidity. That plant will be transpiring moisture all the time and will keep the the humidity in that crop for the life cycle of the of the silks. Once we go through and we've got the tassel and the silks emerging, we change to a reproductive stage. That's when we go to R1, R2, R3 uh, and, and so on. That's the life cycle of the, of the corn crop.